Welcome to the Dancer Studio. Today I want to show you how to create this Santa mural made from 5 inch balloons. Now you could use a hand pump for this project, but we'll be inflating over 400 balloons, and I prefer to use an electric timer based pump that will inflate all of my balloons to the exact same size every time I press the button. I'm going to inflate two balloons till they're about 4 inches in diameter. Then take those two balloons and tie them into a pair by wrapping the nozzle around twice and tying them in a knot. Every pair I make will always be made up of two balloons of the same color. I'm going to repeat this process a couple hundred times until all of my balloon pairs are made. Then closely following my pattern, I'm going to tie my pairs into strings using the duplet square pack method. I have a pattern and written plans available to go along with this project, so if you'd like to make a Santa as well, I'll have those linked in the description box below. When making the strings, it's helpful to have something to pull against, so I'm using the back of a chair, but a doorknob would also work if you'd prefer to stand while making these. I've gathered all my balloons and supplies so that they're within arm's reach, and then I'm going to start by taking my 12 pound fishing line and tying it in a double knot to the back of my chair. Then to keep that fishing line from moving around on the chair, I like to secure it in place with a little piece of masking tape. Following the pattern, you're going to take your first balloon pair and either angle it to the right or to the left. The balloon that's facing up is the side that the pattern is showing. Rest the nozzles of the pair against the fishing line and then wrap it around the upper balloon and then the lower balloon, pulling the fishing line back to the center. Rest the next balloon pair in the pattern on top of the fishing line, making sure this balloon pair is oriented in the opposite direction of the first one so that they look like an X. Wrap the fishing line around this balloon pair. Going back to the first pair and then coming forward again will secure the end of our string and they won't come undone. As I add the next balloon pair, I'm going to press the nozzle of this new pair against the nozzle of the previous pair. It's important to have even spacing between the balloon pairs and consistent tension pulled on the fishing line. We're basically making pixel art and we need each of those pixels to be the same size and the spacing between those pixels to be consistent. If we don't achieve that, our finished image will look warped. It's also important that your balloon string doesn't rotate on you as you add balloons, because only the uppermost balloons are what will be visible on the finished design. As I continue to alternate the pairs back and forth, changing colors as I continue down the string, the design begins to become apparent. You can see the hat, Santa's hair, and the beginnings of his face. As the string grows in length, the balloons will get too close to your chest to keep adding more. So at that point, you'll want to push the chair further away from you to give yourself more room, but you still want to be able to pull on it to keep that tension. So I have one of my feet propped up against the foot of the chair so I don't accidentally pull the chair back closer to me. Once all the pairs are on the string, you'll want to take your fishing line and wrap it around a previous pair or two, and that will help lock everything together. You could also tie the fishing line in a knot to one of the nozzles. Then I'm going to take a pair of scissors and cut away any extra fishing line. Before I cut the other end from the chair, I'm going to take some painter's tape and a permanent marker and number each of my strings so I know what order they go in my pattern. I'm then going to place this piece of tape between two balloons that are pointing up. That's the side that will have the design visible on it, and I want to make sure I can easily identify it when I go to put all these strings together. Now I can cut the other end of the fishing line free from the chair and set this string aside and repeat this process for the next string in the pattern. Once all the strings have been created, it's time to tie them together into the overall mural. You want to make sure the correct side is pointing up, and then I'm going to take the first and second string and nestle them together so that the balloons of one string nestle between two balloons of the string next to it. I'll be joining my strings together using empty 260 modeling balloons that I removed all the air from and tied the end into a knot. The first balloon of the first section should sit between the two pink balloons of the second section. You can see four balloons make a line at an angle, and I'm going to tie the end of my 260 modeling balloon to the nozzle of that topmost pink balloon. Gently pull the 260 across both strings to the opposite side. We're going to be zigzagging this 260 back and forth from the outside edge of one string across to the outside edge of the other string. The 260 balloon should be sitting against the nozzles of the 4 inch balloons and hidden from sight. As you continue to pull the 260, you want to make sure you're using gentle pressure because if it's too tight, it'll cause the strings to curve and that will warp our finished design. So I'm going to go along and make sure all my balloons are sitting nice and flat and straight before I tie the end of the 260 balloon to one of the nozzles at the end of the string. 
Then I'm going to nestle the third string against the first and second, making sure I align the ends according to the pattern. Because we're making a freeform shape and not a square, you want to pay close attention to where each string begins and ends according to the string next to it, so we don't accidentally align them in the wrong way. It's helpful if you look at Santa's cheek. That should make a complete circle of balloons, and that'll tell you if they're aligned properly. Once I'm satisfied that they're aligned correctly, I'm gonna tie the end of a 260 modeling balloon to the nozzles of the first balloon of the third string, and then pull that all the way across the second string to the farthest balloon, and work my way back and forth in that zigzag pattern. Now, once you get to the end of your 260 modeling balloon, and you will run out, you'll wanna tie on another 260 modeling balloon to the end and keep going. Now, you could daisy chain three or four 260 balloons end to end and make it long enough to do the entire section, but I found that that tangles really easily, and it's better to only tie two 260 balloons end to end and simply add more 260s as you need them. I also find that when I pause to tie a new 260 on, that's a great moment to look back at what I've already tied together and assess the tension that I've pulled between the balloons. It's easier to adjust that tension as you go along instead of getting to the end of the string and finding that you've got some places that are too tight or loose and having to go all the way through the 260 chain to adjust any problem areas. As I continue to tie together the strings, it's so fun to see Santa's face emerge. This isn't the moment to relax though. You want to make sure you're being very detailed with where each string is starting compared to the other, and I find it's helpful to look at large landmarks on his face as reference. So you'll see me looking at the eyes and the mouth and checking that the cheeks make perfect circles. If one of the strings is attached in the wrong orientation or it's shimmied too far up or down, you can simply cut the 260 that's adjoining those two strings together, remove any 260 scraps, adjust the placement, and then reattach it with a new set of 260s. Once all eight strings are tied together, our Santa mural is nearly complete, but in a few places I'm going to add some single balloon pairs along the edge to give the mural its finished shape. Every balloon pair is angled, and I want to make sure that the pairs that I'm adding in follow those angles. So here I'm going to nestle this single white balloon pair under the white balloons of Santa's beard so it continues that correct angle. I'm going to attach these pairs using an empty 260 balloon and making sure I tie the end of that 260 to the nozzle of a balloon already attached to the mural somewhere where it will pull these new pairs in tight to the side of the mural. Nestle the pair in so the upper balloon sits between two balloons of the string next to it. Wrap the 260 around the new balloon pair so it sits against its nozzles and then take the 260 and wrap it around the balloon that's in the string next to it, making sure it sits against the nozzles. Grab the next balloon pair, orienting it in the same angle as the previous one, wrap the 260 around this pair, and then wrap it around a balloon in the string next to it. I'm going to repeat this process of adding new pairs and zigzagging the 260 back and forth between those new pairs and pairs in the string until I have five of these individual balloons all along the side of Santa's head. I added these individual pairs on both the left and right side of the mural to give the finished design a more detailed shape. If I had restricted the design to only using stringers, it would definitely have a blockier look. With the final pair tied in place, I'm going to go along and remove all of the numbered pieces of tape only once everything is tied together. Then I'm going to take a pair of scissors and on both ends trim away the extra fishing line tails. To complete this Santa backdrop look, I'm going to be hanging my mural in front of these shimmer wall panels using two pieces of fishing line that I've tied to the horizontal pole of my backdrop stand. I'm going to lift the Santa mural and hold it about where I'd like it to be in the finished design, paying close attention to the eyes of the Santa to make sure it's nice and level. While holding the mural in place, I'm going to pull down one of those strings of fishing line and wrap it around one of the balloons directly under it. In a figure eight fashion, I'm going to wrap the fishing line around a couple balloons zigzagging down the Santa, making sure my fishing line is always sitting against the nozzles of those balloons and I'm not pulling it too tight, risking popping those balloons. Then I'm going to wrap the fishing line around those same balloons back up a little bit and that should be more than enough to hold the Santa mural in place. Take a pair of scissors and trim away any excess fishing line and then I'm going to move over to the left side of the mural. On this side, I'm going to pull the fishing line straight down, wrap it around one balloon, and then I'm going to look at the eyes of the Santa mural and make sure that they're both sitting level. At this point, it's very easy to tighten or loosen the fishing line to make sure that the eyes sit level, 
Then once you're happy with that placement, you can continue to wrap the fishing line around a couple of balloons in that zigzag pattern, just like we did on the other side, and then trim away any excess fishing line. If you enjoyed today's project, you should check out this video. And until the next time, remember, stay creative, everybody.